This video covers the different hardware models that runs ASA software that this course is all about. We have a number of different hardwares to run software on. First of all, we have the old ancient Cisco Pixels. Cisco Pix is today end of life and should not be used at all. The Cisco Pix runs an old version of the ASA commands and software set that we will see in this course. But much has happened since the Pix code and it's no idea to try to learn the old Pix code because you should not use it. So keep to the ASA. If you see any Cisco Pixels, you should replace them as soon as possible. Forget about the Pixels today. The first real models of ASA firewalls were the first generation of the ASA hardware. It came from the Pixels, but it had more power and a new feature set and new commands. The Cisco ASA firewall is a packet filtering firewall and it exists in many different shapes, from the smallest 5505 up to the largest 5580 firewall, and in between we have 5510, 5520, 5530, and so on. In this slide, you see the 5505 on the top, 5510 between there, and the 5550 on the bottom. The successor to ASA firewall is the ASA X models. They run the same software. Whatever software you run in your 5505, 5510, and so on in the last slides, you run the same software in these firewalls. The difference is that on top of the ASA X models, you can also run Firepower services from Sourcefire. You configure the firewall exactly the same for the X models, but you can also install another software on top of that, the Sourcefire Firepower services. Firepower services includes application visibility and control, which means that it can sense applications on application level. You can do URL filtering on URL categories. It has an IPS, intrusion prevention system, and also something called AMP, which is advanced malware protection. We will keep the Firepower services out of this course for now and focus on the traditional ASA software. But it's important to remember that ASA software that you run on the ASA X models are exactly the same as the traditional ASA firewall software. So it's no difference. You can see that it's an X model because the model number has dash X on the end of the model name. You have the 5505 in the last slide, which is a traditional ASA firewall. And the smallest ASA X model is a 5506 X model. It's simply the same as the 5505, but it also can run Firepower services. And if you do not have license for Firepower services, there's no difference in reality between the 5505 in this slide and the 5506 in this slide. The X model goes all the way up to the 5585X models, which are really massive and powerful. And in between, we have a number of different models that most of them end with a 5 and dash X. So there are many models to choose between. There's also a virtual version of the firewall available. It runs exactly the same software and has the same feature set as the traditional firewalls we just looked at, but it runs virtual on VMware. It has no firepower services. Finally, there is a ASA service module. It's a service card that is injected in the Cisco 6500 switches. It runs the ASA feature set and has no firepower services. These are all ASA firewall that runs the ASA software that we will teach in this course. Doesn't really matter if you have a service module, a virtual firewall, a X model, or a traditional ASA firewall. You will run exactly the same code and you will run exactly the same commands. Everything that I teach in this course is applicable on these firewalls and these.